root hair develop from the region of maturation, elongation, root cap, or metastomatic activity. Root hair are lateral tubular outgrowths that develop from the outer cells of the zone of maturation, which is also known as root hair zone. The vascular cambium normally gives rise to phalloderm, primary phloem, secondary xylem, or periderm. The cells of the vascular cambium divide periclinally both on the outer and the inner sides to form secondary permanent shoes, that is, secondary xylem and secondary phloem. So according to the options, option C is the correct choice. Which of the following is made up of dead cells? Xylem parenchyma, colenchyma, phloem, or phloem? Okay, so the phloem or cork consists of dead and compactly arranged rectangular cells that possess tuberized cell wall. Select the correct route for the passage of sperms in male frogs. Okay, so the correct passage of sperms in male frogs is the testis, then vas afferentia, then kidney, then bitters canal, then urinogenital duct, and then cloaca. So according to the options, testis and bitters canal, wrong option, testis, vas afferentia, kidney, seminal recycle, no, bitters canal first. Testis, vas afferentia, bitters canal, no. Testis, vas afferentia, kidney, bitters canal, urinogenital duct, cloaca. D is the correct choice. Frog's heart, when taken out of the body, continues to beat for some time. Select the best option from the following statement. Frog is poikilothermic. Frog does not have any coronary circulation. Heart is myogenic in nature. And the heart is auto-excitable. Okay, so from the above given options, uh, statement, statement third and fourth are correct. That is, option D is the correct choice. The frog's heart is myogenic. That is, the heartbeat originates from muscle of the heart. Hence, it is autorhythmic way of the contraction originates from sinus venesis and spreads to fall of the sinus venesis and fourth auricles. This compels the heart to beat. Due to this reason, frog's heart will continue to beat as long as it gets supply of ATP. Which of the following cell organelles is responsible for extracting energy from carbohydrates to form ATP? Lysosome, ribosome, chloroplast, or mitochondria? The correct choice is mitochondria. Mitochondria are miniature biochemical factories where foodstuffs or respiratory substrates are completely oxidized to carbon dioxide and water. The energy liberated in the process is initially stored in the form of reduced coenzymes and reduced prosthetic groups. The latter soon undergo oxidation and forms energy-rich ATP. ATP comes out of mitochondria and helps perform various energy-requiring processes of the cell like muscle contraction, nerve impulse conduction, biosynthesis, membrane transport, cell division, movement, etc. Because of the formation of ATP, the mitochondria are called the powerhouse of the cell. Which of the following statements is correct with reference to enzymes? Epoenzymes equal to whole enzyme plus coenzyme, whole enzyme equal to epoenzyme plus coenzyme, coenzyme equal to epoenzyme plus whole enzyme, whole enzyme equal to coenzyme plus cofactor. Okay, so the correct choice is B, holoenzyme equal to epoenzyme plus coenzyme. Holoenzyme is the complete conjugate enzyme consisting of an epoenzyme and a cofactor. A cofactor may be organic or inorganic in nature. Organic cofactors are of two types, coenzyme and prosthetic groups. Which of the following options give the correct sequence of events during mitosis? Okay, so first, condensation, nuclear membrane assembly, crossing over. Okay. So crossing over is the event of prophase first, of meiosis first, and we have to answer according to mitosis. So this is the wrong option. Now move on to the question, option B. First condensation, then nuclear membrane disassembly, then arrangement at equator, that is metaphase, then centromere division, that is anaphase, segregation, then telophase. Okay, so option B is the correct choice. And in option C, again, we have crossing over. That is, uh, it's the wrong option because the crossing over is the event of meiosis and this is also wrong because nuclear membrane assembly is absent over here. Anaphase promoting complex APC is a protein degradation machinery necessary for proper mitosis of animal cells. If APC is de defective in a human cell, which of the following is expected to occur? Chromosomes will not condense, chromosomes will be fragmented, chromosomes will not segregate, or recombination of chromosome arms will occur. Okay, so during anaphase in mitosis, sister chromatids segregate at opposite poles. Therefore, a defective APC will affect chromosome segregation. That is, chromosomes will not segregate. 
the water potential of a pure water is 0 less than 0, more than 0, but less than 1, more than 1. Okay, so it is always 0. With reference to factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis, which of the following statements is not correct? Light saturation for carbon dioxide fixation occurs at 10% of full sunlight. The increasing atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration up to 0.05% can enhance CO2 fixation rate. C. C3 plants respond to higher temperature with enhanced photosynthesis, while C4 plants have much lower temperature optimum. Okay, so here this is the wrong option because C4 plants respond to higher temperatures with enhanced photosynthesis, while C3 plants have much lower temperature optimum. And tomato is a greenhouse crop which can be grown in carbon dioxide and rich atmosphere for higher yield. So these three statements are right and this is the wrong statement, hence this is the right option.